Welcome to Kemsworth! It's time for some comfort food during these lockdowns. This is one of my favorite things to make, homemade popcorn. There's no need to ever buy those microwave popcorn bags that you, you can get in the store. It's fake popcorn, there's a hundred ingredients. If you ever check out the ingredients on the bag, anything with a hundred ingredients you should avoid at all costs. This is all you need to make great homemade popcorn and some salt actually, which I haven't included. Um, obviously uh, salt to taste at the end, but you got some butter, salted or unsalted, up to you, olive oil, and some popcorn kernels. If you can get organic, that's the best. But if you can't, just uh, go with what you can get. Try to use a big pot with a good thick base if you've got one. Obviously, the bigger the pot, the more popcorn you can make. I like to fill the bottom of the pot uh, to cover the complete bottom with a little bit on top, not too much. If you put too much, you just uh, it won't, won't all pop. You'll waste waste a bunch of kernels at the end. So you can always take some out if you've overdone it. You can see I've covered the bottom, and there's. A slight layer, a second layer, which probably covers about a third of the, uh, the bottom layer. So uh, just about one and a third layers of popcorn would probably turn out to be enough to fill this right to the rim without wasting many or any kernels at all. So what I do then to add some olive oil to it. You need something to help it cook without uh, burning. I use extra virgin olive oil. If you want, you could use uh, regular olive oil or uh, vegetable oil if you don't have extra virgin olive oil. But we try to keep this as healthy as possible, so we use the extra virgin olive oil. And I've, what I've done here is I've just made sure all the kernels are a little bit soaked in the olive oil so they cook nice and evenly and they're all very happy and warm once the, once the pot starts heating up. Now for the butter to melt it just take a take your butter I like to use about this much choose as much as you want obviously I just put it inside a coffee cup, any sort of a microwave safe cup. Put it in a microwave for about 45 seconds or a minute until it's melted and pull it out. So I've had the popcorn, or I've had the butter in the microwave for about a minute and I heard it boiling so I took it out. So now I've got some nicely melted butter ready to go on top of the popcorn once it's ready. So now I've got the popcorn on the stove at full power. I'm gonna put the lid on. Should take about maybe four or five minutes maximum to completely pop. And uh, you don't have to do anything really. Just uh, wait for the popping to, to stop. And uh, you've got a wonderful pot of warm homemade popcorn. Popcorn's popping. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep your eyes on the popcorn just or your ears on it. Just to make sure that uh, once the pops really slow down a lot, that you don't leave it on the burner because you will burn the popcorn at the bottom of the pot if you don't take it off that burner. So you can hear that the popcorn. It's, it's very it's slowed down a lot. The pops. So it's, it's pretty well done. I mean, there's going to be a few unpopped ones at the bottom, but not many. And I don't want to risk burning the popcorn. So I'm going to take it off.
Let's take a look at the popcorn. Look at that beautiful thing. So it's still popping. Actually, at this stage, you can add your butter. I like to put it right on to the top. At this point, you can hear it goes all the way to the bottom, so it covers most of the kernels. And at this point also I add the, the salt afterwards, after the butter, because you want the, the salt to stick to the popcorn that has the butter on it, because otherwise the, the salt tends to just fall off the popcorn and go to the bottom of the pot. So once you've got the butter and the salt in there, you want to mix it up, so I take a towel, hold the handles really tight, Give it a good mix. You know, holding on to that lid, make sure that lid doesn't fall off. <laughs> that lid falls off. It's a good exercise. It's the end of the, it's game over, yeah. It's a good exercise. The party is over at that point, yeah. Great exercise. Look at the muscles. Okay, so we gave it a really good shake. And you can see, actually, got a nice mix of popcorn there that mostly has butter on it, but some, some kernels don't, but that's okay. And then it's just a matter of uh, putting it into uh, bowls for everyone to enjoy. You've got a huge pot of popcorn at a fraction of the price of microwave popcorn. This is probably one quarter, if not uh, one fifth, the price of what you would pay for uh, a little box of uh, three popcorn sacks, microwave popcorn sacks. And this is all natural, much more healthy than microwave popcorn and much more delicious than microwave popcorn. So all you need to do now, the last step of the process, is enjoy. Mmm.